Okay everyone, welcome back to Master Your Mayhem. I'm really glad to have you back. Today we're gonna do a comparison between the DeWalt air inflator and the new rigid air inflator. So let's go ahead and get into it. For the rigid, it is the R87044. That's the model of the rigid digital tire inflator. This is the model, if anyone was wondering, the DCC. 020IB model. We have the 5 amperage hour battery on the DeWalt and we have the 4 amperage hour battery on the rigid one. Batteries are fully charged. This one's fairly newer, it just came out. The DeWalt's been around a little while. The DeWalt looks a little more capable, a little more um, hefty. It's definitely heftier weight and so I wanted to see for me if a $30 difference is worth it if this guy can definitely show that it outperforms the rigid. But uh, I'm a rigid fan. I have plenty of rigid tools and so if this guy can give me what I need uh, fundamentally as just being able to uh, get air in the tire and get me back on the road just as quickly as the DeWalt then great. But if the DeWalt outperforms this then I'd rather spend the extra 30 bucks. Let's just kind of go over the the features of both of these and then we'll go ahead and do a test on them on my truck. But let's go ahead and start with the rigid. Um, it has a auto shut off switch, a two inch digital gauge right here two inch digital gauge um, it also has a hybrid technology so it does do the battery powered uh, function and then it has a you know where you can plug into your 12 volt outlet it can do both it has a 20 inch hose so two clips here they're called the onboard hose wrap and then it has a manual inflation override it also has a quick connect air chuck to quickly disconnect from the tire stem or any other accessories you might be using it's a nice little feature there it's just we'll show you that when i get to the tires and start inflating them it's just some of the features on the rigid and of course the rigid gives you that lifetime service agreement free parts free service for life if you're a rigid fan uh, this is a nice uh, air inflator yeah, I'm a rigid fan and we've been waiting for this one to come out at Home Depot and that's why I went and grabbed it um, let's go with the DeWalt now and see some of the features that DeWalt has this one has a high pressure uh, automatic shutoff, a high volume inflation and deflation modes. So this also has digital screen here. If you turn it on, you can see that. So it's not as uh, innovative or as up to date as this digital dialer. It does still have some reading screens there. You have two screens that will give you indications of the settings and whatnot. Okay, so one thing that the DeWalt air inflator has is an LED light here at the front. So it's a nice feature to have if you need it. I don't know if you guys can see, I just turned it on. And then it has an in and an out connection for the hose. It has a few accessories here on the side that are already attached to the DeWalt air inflator. Um, it does have a nice wrap around little tabs here, channels where you can wrap the hose around. It looks like it's uh, about the same length as the other one. Well, this one actually looks a little bit longer, but this does not have a quick connect air chuck here. So you do have to screw this one on. You just bring that around. Push it in place. Okay, and again, the DeWalt does have the ability to blow air out. So it gives you two different openings here to be able to use the big hose. Let's see. Yeah, it gives a nice pressure there. Pretty neat right there. So the DeWalt has both blowing and uh, suction capabilities, depending on which uh, uh, connection you make here, top or bottom opening there. So that's a nice feature. So that already gives it a little of advantage over the rigid, just having that extra capability. But again, it is an extra $30. So depending on what you need, you know, look into those features and know what your needs are, and that should help you decide. Uh, and then the other thing I really like about the difference between the DeWalt and the rigid is that the rigid just has the 12 volt DC adapter. It just kind of sits externally. You just have to have it nearby or zip tie it to it or have a bag or something. Whereas the DeWalt, it's actually inside this little case here. You just open up the door and it's all it's always with the actual tire inflator. So that's a nice feature there with that. I really like that. Keeps it nice and clean. That's pretty much it as far as the difference that I can tell. Um, I, I'm not going to go through much, too much through the digital settings and whatnot here. I just wanted to, in this video to just demonstrate to you uh, what the rigid can do 
and compare it to the DeWalt and vice versa and sh you know show you the difference between $30 on what these two can do uh, so let's go ahead and just see the difference in weight on these two and we'll go from there we're gonna go ahead and start with the rigid so let's see how much this guy weighs with the four amperage hour battery and we're going to add it's of course this cord because it it is a part of it so let's put that all together so all together we're looking at the rigid four pounds 5.6 ounces with the rigid uh, let's see how much the DeWalt weighs with its battery. Six pounds, 15 ounces. That's what we're looking at. Of course, it is bigger, so it's going to have a little more weight to it, but it is more capable as well. So we got these two. Now let's go ahead and do and see which one is louder. All right, we're going to go ahead and do decibel reading for both the rigid and the DeWalt air inflator. Let's go ahead and do the rigid one first. About 108.7 decibels on that one. And let's go ahead and try the DeWalt. Sorry about the neighbor's dogs, but we're gonna go ahead and move forward here. So it's at 93.3. I, I don't know if that's just like standby mode, the compressor building up, or if it's actually uh, the noise it makes as it's uh, pumping air. So we'll see once we connect it to the, the actual tire and have it working, we'll see if it, it increases in dBs, but right now it's 93.3. So let's go ahead and go to the truck. We're gonna deflate the uh, tires, and then we're gonna go ahead and pump uh, air back into the tires with both the rigid and the DeWalt. All right, you guys, so here we are with my uh, truck tires. We're going to go ahead and deflate them and then have the rigid tire inflator and the DeWalt have a showdown, see which one can uh, inflate my tires quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and deflate all four tires. We're going to have the battery inflation take place for the rear tires. All right, so for the uh, front tires, we're going to do is we're going to plug it into my truck's uh, 12 volt outlet. We'll plug those in and see how well they do with the power from the truck. So that way we can compare them that way, both with battery and 12 volt power and see which one performs better. All right, so here you guys go. I got the tires, both the rear tires down to about seven PSI. Did you guys see that's down to about seven PSI? it's it's right on that first green bar here so that's the the right rear so it's about what between five and uh, six psi there but anyway the green bar there so we'll go to the left rear tire so I'll show you guys they're exactly the same right so there we are exactly the same so let's get this started you just slide it on and then the, the lighter gray plastic is what locks it into place just like that. So that's it, a nice quick connect there. And let's go ahead and get the DeWalt in place. So the DeWalt is using a five amperage hour battery here, the five amperage, and it is fully charged. You can see right there. And if I turn it on, it'll tell me right here where the psi is currently yeah so 6.9 i guess we can test it on the other one just to see how close we are to being the same here let's do that yeah so a six psi so let's go ahead and get these started listen pressure to escape there it's interesting yeah but i don't know if that's important to anybody or not a big deal to me I don't think I can start them at exactly the same time, but I will do my best. This also has a gauge where I'm gonna tell it to get to, I want it to be to 49 PSI when it's all said and done. So let's go to 49. And let's see who gets there first. We're at 49 there. And we're gonna go to auto. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go, I don't know, here we go. We're gonna go to 49 right now, and then I'm gonna start this one because it needs to start with the trigger, 
and it's probably gonna start on its own, but let's do it. There it goes, just stopped right there. All right, just hit 49.2 PSI. Let's take it off and uh, my timer should be accurate because as soon as it stopped, I said, there it goes. But either way, the DeWalt, uh, it looks like it took about five to six minutes longer, uh, but you guys saw the video and I, I should have put that timer up there. So it, it's reached its goal, 49 PSI. Let's go ahead and take this off. The entire unit feels fine it doesn't feel very hot uh, the hose feels fine sorry it's the neighbor's dogs let's see if it used a bar or two or none on the dewalt yeah it didn't lose a single bar on the dewalt so that's good and bad i guess because it took about five minutes longer all right let's let's start up the truck and see what the readings are in the truck Let's go ahead and start it up so we can get the PSI readings. Yeah, I got the cover on because I, I leave that on during the day for the shade here. Let's see. So right now, the reading from the Ram truck. The rear right is 47. That was DeWalt. The rear left was rigid, and that's reading as 48. So even the truck uh, meter or gauge is reading um, a little higher on the rear left which was the rigid and so the rigid again is just it did it faster and it gave you a higher psi so that's pretty sweet we got to deal with those front tires we're going to deflate them and then we're going to do the uh the inflating with the ac ports here so we'll plug them in at the same time while the truck's running and then we'll have to see what the outcome is there. All right, so for the front tires, I just went down to 20 PSI here. So we're right at 20 there. That's the front right. Let's go to the front left. Make sure it's about the same for the rigid side. And right about 20 there, a little over. Let it let some air out. Let's go to this one a little under 20 just to give the wall the advantage for right now but yeah so a little under 20 here okay so that's for the rigid i got it plugged in let's start the truck see what the psi readings are should be right around 20 here So the right, the front right is 23, the front left is 18. So let's just go to 49, see what it does. I'm gonna test both of them, make sure they both run here. And so I plug one in the back and one in the front. Both of them have their batteries disconnected. So the power's on on that one. That's zero. This one. So let's go ahead and connect it. The PSI is reading 19.5 here. Let's see what it reads here for us. Now zero, let's do a quick connect. Remember, just push this forward, and this plastic part goes forward and it should connect here. Just 
like that, nice and secure. And it's saying it's 18, so this one's a little lower, just as we wanted. This time, I'm gonna start the DeWalt first and then run around. So I'm gonna start the DeWalt first, DeWalt for, first this time. Let's put it to 49. And we're gonna start this one first. And uh, I'm assuming Rigid will still beat it. But let's go to 49 here. And start. There it goes. And we're losing a few seconds. So let's go here and let's go on auto to 49. Oops. Let's start. goes so this time the reading is exactly the same both have 49 here let's see if we can get a clearer picture but they're both at 49 and the rear runs are still different so I think the DeWalt performs a little better if it's vehicle power versus the battery power that's just my from my experience here so all right well that's the test that I could get for you guys all right, you guys, well, that's that's my little uh, versus test there between the DeWalt tire inflator and the rigid tire inflator. Um, for me, I'm going with the rigid uh, only because, oh, well, actually, I may keep both. Uh, if my wife wants to keep the DeWalt for times if we ever need to inflate air mattresses or, uh, you know, those plastic boats on the river. But I am going to be keeping the rigid on my truck for any time if I get a flat or I need to fill up uh, you know, my tires with air. This guy does it faster. Um, I think I did the timer on the screen so you guys can see that as well. So again, uh, I hope this little uh, comparison video helped you guys to decide whether you're gonna get a DeWalt or a Rigid. Uh, anyway, that's, that's what I'm here to do. I wanna compare tools, see which perform better, which do better, compare you know, the, the warranties, the features, uh, the value, things like that. So uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope this video helped you guys as far as answering some questions or helping you decide which way to go, whether you want the rigid one for $69 or the DeWalt for $99. It is a $30 difference, but the DeWalt has an LED light, which the rigid doesn't. The DeWalt also can blow air versus the rigid does not. So for an extra 30 bucks, that might be worth it for you to go with the DeWalt, but the rigid is faster gets the job done and has the quick connect uh, for the tire so it's it's just for me what I wanted to get the tire inflated for the rigid meets those needs and it still does basketballs or any kind of athletic uh, balls that need air uh, quickly so I didn't do that test because I figured if you could do tires uh, I will be going with the rigid let me know which one you guys go with uh, in the comments I would appreciate that uh, and I'm curious to hear your guys feedback uh, if anyone's done other reviews on that DeWalt or rigid just you know share with me your feedback let me know which one you guys went with and why you like one or the other more i will continue to make videos for you guys on tech tools diys and deals out there uh, that help make life a little easier and work a little more efficient and until next time i hope you guys like comment Click the bell icon, share, and most definitely, please show your support in the best way by subscribing. I always appreciate that. So, uh, Master Mayhem only desires all the best for you and yours.